On behalf of the Washburn University Board of Regents, as well as Washburn and Washburn Tech faculty, administration, and staff, I welcome you to this commencement for the Washburn University Institute of Technology. Please remain standing and join me in welcoming Charles Skazar, who will sing the national anthem. Oh, say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we saw were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bumpers that our flag was still there. Oh, say, does that star-spangled banner yet wave? May be seated. Thank you, Charles. Also, please join me in expressing thanks to Mrs. Norma Pettijohn, organist, for providing our music tonight. <clears throat> to the graduates, congratulations. To the friends and families, thank you for your enduring support. And to the faculty, Thank you for the time and effort you constantly give to create an exceptional educational experience at Washburn. At this time, I would like to introduce the platform party. Please stand as I call your name and remain standing until all are introduced. Michael Evanson, Grand Marshal. Clayton Tatro. Richard Lidke. Eric Grosspitch. Jim Martin, Mark Wilson, Laura Stevenson, Monica Scheibmeyer, David Saulers, Mandy Walter, Clark Coco, Dean of Washburn Institute of Technology, Blanche Parks, Washburn Board of Regents, Bill Sneed, Washburn Board of Regents, John McGivern, Washburn Board of Regents, Paul Hoferer, Washburn Board of Regents, and President Farley, President of Washburn University. Thank you. It gives me great pleasure to introduce the Dean of Washburn Institute of Technology, Clark Coco.
Thank you, Dr. Mazicek. Good evening, everyone. My name is Clark Coco, and I've had the privilege of serving as the dean for Washburn University Institute of Technology for the last seven years. On behalf of the Washburn University Board of Trustees, the Washburn Administration, Washburn Tech faculty, staff, and administration, I too would personally like to welcome all of our graduates, families, friends, to this very, very special event. At this time, I'd like to acknowledge a, a group of folks that I, I think so highly of. I started my educational career in 1976 and been in, out of many buildings teaching and as an administrator. I have never worked with a set of faculty, staff, and support help of the most reliable and most caring group of people I've ever worked with in my life. If you are a staff member, a faculty member, employed at Washburn Tech, would you please rise? To you, I say thank you. What you have done, what you have done has changed lives, not only this year, but in many years. You're the best. Thank you. So, if you've had the opportunity to come to our student orientations as we worked uh, with our students in, in getting them accustomed to what it's like to come to Washburn Tech, you have probably traveled through our north hallway of our conference center. And in that hallway, there are three, I believe, very important words. And those words are imagine, inspire, and transform. Folks, that's our students. When a student walks up that sidewalk for the first time, and they're going to enroll in a program, and they see themselves in that program, they imagine what it would be like to complete that program, to be here tonight with an opportunity for career placement waiting for them. They imagine that. As they get into their program, we see it throughout the entire year on our campus. They become inspired. And I'm going to mention some things in a little bit that just, that just absolutely supports that. They become inspired. They become excited. They, can, they finally have found something that they really, really want to do. And tonight, as witness to that, they transform. They have gone from imagining to inspiring to transforming. That's our students. That's our staff. At this time, if you are a student who is a member of National Technical Honor Society, would you please rise? National Technical. Stay standing. Between our 5 o'clock graduation and our 8 o'clock graduation, we have inducted 65 members into this organization this year. Ms. Diane Stump, our sponsor, is a phenomenal, phenomenal sponsor and coordinator of National Technical Honor Society. Since 1990, Washburn Tech has inducted 943 students into the chapter. This is what these students have done. They have shown great leadership inside the classroom and outside the classroom, exactly what employers are looking for. They have shown excellent attendance, exactly what employers are looking for. They have had outstanding grades, exactly what employers are looking for. And one of the most important things we can never lose sight of they are great citizens, exactly what employers are looking for. Students, congratulations. <laughs> you may be seated. You may be seated. I spoke a minute ago about student orientation. And during the student orientations, when I have a chance to visit with the students, we start talking about Skills USA. Well, Skills USA, we, we don't have athletics at Washburn Tech, but we got Skills USA. And Skills USA is when we take our students and we compete against all the other two year institutions in the state of Kansas 26 institutions. And we all hunker down in Hutch, Hutchison, Kansas for about a week. It's interesting. Our students get off the bus and they know the history of Washburn Tech. They know the history of our students. They know the history of our, our instructors. 
And many times we hear they go, that's Washburn Tech. We know that they're going to collect a lot of metals on this process. So it becomes our state championship. It leads into our Super Bowl, which is this summer when SkillsUSA will be hosted in Louisville, Kentucky. This year we had over 300 students participating in, in SkillsUSA. We took around 140 to 145 students down to Hutchison, Kansas. We begin the competition, competing against everybody else in the state. When the week ends this year, when the week concluded this year, Washburn Tech had 19 students finish third in the state. Third in the state, your child, your relative, somebody you know, is third in the state. We had 19, we had 25 finish second in the state. Second in the state. All the other schools, second in the state. We had 63 gold medals, first in the state of Kansas, first amongst all the two-year colleges in the state of Kansas, 63 students, 63 medals. Those students, you're dang right. <laughs> 107 medals total. Nobody else gets 107 medals but Washburn Tech. So you ask, you said what happened last year? Well, we loaded up 44 students and we took them to Louisville, Kentucky, and we competed against all the other students in the nation. 44 students on the road for a week. That makes me nervous. But what do they do? They unload in Louisville, Kentucky, and they're competing against, against students from everywhere. All right, 44 students, 29 of those students finished in the first 15 in the nation. 15 in the nation, okay, I finished in 29 students, 15th or better in the nation. Nine of those students finished fourth in the nation. Fourth in the nation, nine of those students. Three of those students got third in the nation. One student got second in the nation, and three students from Washburn Tech were crowned, crowned national champions last year. We're taking students, we're taking students to Louisville, Kentucky this year. We'll, re we'll give you the results next year on Louisville. What an outstanding job from our staff and our students. Thank you so much. A couple other things about Skills USA. We had a couple students while they're participating in Skills USA for the state. Skills USA Foundation gave scholarships to award to a student at Washburn Tech, Luke Miller. Luke, would you please rise? Luke is a student in Machine Tool, was honored with a scholarship from Skills USA. Luke, thank you. In our, in our 8 o'clock graduation, we will have another student, Jacob Radcliffe, who is an auto tech student, who also received a special award, the EJ Scholarship Award, and we will announce that during the 8 o'clock graduation tonight. If you are a student who participated in the student, the, the Washburn Tech Students Activity Board, would you please rise? Washburn Tech Student Activities Board. If you are a student that participated in that, would you please rise? Okay. Well, let me tell you what those students did during the 8 o'clock graduation, all right? <laughs> These students coordinated Washburn Tech participation in National Alliance for Mental Illness and State Conference. They volunteered their time. They built, they painted, and they placed lending libraries on our campus and within the community of Topeka. They organized the spring break celebration because by golly, you gotta celebrate spring break. They collected donations for organizations for the silent auction for the car show, which benefits the care closet. And folks, I'm telling you something about the care closet. There is no other institution that I know of that does the things that the care closet does for students on our campus when we are in need. Our students go out and raise funds and raise materials and help other students. That's what they do. They give back. And they participate in long-range planning on our campus, and one of their projects this year was the project around our Child Care Little Learners Center. Again, for our students in the uh, student support group, thank you. The last group I want to bring up at this point in time is a very special group to me. My son is a soldier. My son is a Purple Heart. I want to know, if you are a veteran of the armed services and you are in our audience tonight, would you please rise? 
if you are a veteran. If you are a veteran and you are a student or a staff member at Washburn Tech, would you please rise? Thank you. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your service. It is my pleasure at this time to introduce you to Dr. Clayton Tatro, Associate Dean, who will announce the Outstanding Student Awards. Thank you, Dean Coco. It is my pleasure to announce the students who were selected by faculty and staff to represent Washburn Tech as outstanding students for the 2018-2019 academic year. Students received a certificate and a $500 award. These students represent the best at Washburn Tech. In our 8 o'clock ceremony, we will be recognizing our outstanding female student, Nikki Eubanks. Nikki is an auto service technology student. Serving in the United States Army as a wheeled vehicle mechanic has generated her interest in seeking an automotive technician career. Nikki is the mother of two children who share her passion for classic cars. Nikki competed in the Skills USA state competition and assisted with Tech's Recycled Rides project. Nikki has accepted a job with a dealership in Ottawa. Congratulations, Nikki, and we will recognize her at the 8 o'clock ceremony. At this ceremony, we would like to recognize our outstanding male student of the year, Chris Guy. Chris, if you can come forward. Chris is, has a full-time job, or had a full-time job at Stormont Vale Hospital, where he cleaned and sterilized surgical instruments, which sparked his interest that led him to enroll in Washburn Tech's surgical technology program. Chris is married and has two children. Upon graduation, Chris will begin work as a surgical technologist on the heart team at Stormont Vale. Congratulations, Chris. Thank you both Clark and Clayton and congratulations to our students on their many accomplishments in this last academic year. At this time I have the pleasure of introducing our president, Dr. Jerry Farley. Hello everyone. Greetings. Yes. We're happy to be here, aren't we? This is a great evening, and all of us in the room tonight are really proud of these students. Whether you're family, whether you're a friend, whether you're an instructor, whether you're a fellow student, we all are proud of what you have accomplished. You have an opportunity that very few other people around the world will ever have. You can pursue your education. You have made a substantial investment of money and, more importantly, of your time. And you have done so because we have a society that respects and honors educated persons. Your education is something that no one can take away from you. Now, I'm not any kind of neurobiologist, but I am told that as you learn, you forever expand the neural synaptic connections in your brain. In essence, your brain grows, and this is not irreversible. But you can continue to expand your brain functions by continuing your education. Indeed, I hope you realize you must never, ever stop learning. 
You now have skills. You're at the top of your field. And unless you continue to learn, these skills will become dated and you'll fall behind others who are more recent in their graduation from Washburn Tech. Our country, our society needs you. You have been given a gift, the gift of education. You now have an obligation to give back to your fellow citizens by working hard, by improving the uh, communities in which you live, and by setting a positive example for everyone, especially your families. We all here tonight wish you the very best. Congratulations. We shall now proceed to the conferring of degrees. We ask that parents, relatives, and friends use one of the areas in front, to the right or to the left of the stage. These areas are designated for taking photographs and don't, get, don't obstruct the graduates or the professional photographers. Degree candidates will be presented by Dean Coco. President Barley, students, would you please rise? Got to have you up. There we go. Almost forgot that. All right. President Farley, those before you and in absentia are candidates for the technical certificate. I am pleased to present to you now for the conferring of their certificates those who have completed the required and have been recommended by the faculty. Thank you, Dean Coco. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Regents of Washburn University, I hereby confer on, upon those who have completed the requirements the appropriate certificate with all of the honors, rights, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining thereto. Now, would you please be seated, and when your row is called by the marshals, please come forward as directed. Our first program is GED, led by Mandy Cox and Max Dennett. And Delicia Coyote. Rain Grimm. Molly Hubbard. Jason Kenneth. Christian Matamoros. Alexis Moda. Juanesia Perkins. <laughs> Caleb Plankinton. Myra Ponce. Anita Rodriguez.
Jondrea Thomas. Alexis Tracy. Next up, we have AOK, -OK, led by Peggy Snook. Sylvia Carrillo, GED graduate. Laura Dirk. Sierra Harton. Alexis Martinez, GED graduate. Elizabeth Rodriguez. Our next program is Advanced Systems Technology, led by Dennis Mergenmeyer and Aaron Starnes. David Sobolski. Henry Hamann. Caleb Klein. Jeffrey McClintory, National Technical Honor Society and Skills Medalist. Isaac Miller. Joel Snyder. Logan Wadley, National Technical Honor Society. Blake Ward. CJ Watson. Tyler Wood. Next up, we have Early Childhood Professionals, led by Tammy Schrickel. <laughs> Joyen Babiola, Skills Medalist. Myra Carrizo. <laughs> Courtney Coker. <laughs> Jamie Lee Gibson. <laughs> Madison Halderman, Skills Computer. Zachary Johnson, Skills Medalist. Liberty Malcolm. Haley McNorton. Megan Maline, National Technical Honor Society. Sean Orson, National Technical Honor Society. Michelle Pacina. Jordan Smith. Casey Sturgeon, National Technical Honor Society and Skills Medalist. Nishara Thomas. Next, we have Emergency Communications, led by Don Fry.
Caitlin Jara. Danielle Laird. Angel Mandarino. Lux Pettigrew. Next, we have our emergency medical technician, led by Wayne Hollis. Alexandria Frakes. Cassidy Brown. Haley Inkle. Kate Hilliard. Darcy Somerville. Ethan McMillan. Matthew Cranville. Hunter Richardson. Zachary Switchkurd. Tara Hodges. Kaysen McQueen. Jacob Hass. Angelio Campos, skills medalist. Let's go, Angelo! <laughs> Levi Jacobs. Woo! Go, Levi! <laughs> Morgan Haney. Yeah. <laughs> Matthew Munger. Yeah. Jade Atrim. Ian McKinnon. Brian Gillaspie. Stephen Rice. David Bowman. Richie Smith. Next, we have Advanced Healthcare Tech, led by Linda Hummel and Rebecca Bruner. Kamaya Carr. Alexia Crow. Grace Ellis. George Minos. Gina Ramos. Grace Smith. Kaylin Taylor Baker. Next, we have Healthcare Tech Technology, led by Rhonda Haverkamp, Joan Walker, and Kelly Winkle. A 
Akiriana Adams. Tawny Allen. Selena Averroes. Amber Armstrong. Nancy Arola. Carly Bard. Canel Benton. Abigail Berry. Isabel Blair. Alexis Brooks. Brianna Brown. Jessica Buck. Victoria Burgart. Tejane Burris. Lily Bynum. Allison Kanan. Melanie Casto. Daniela Cervantes. Tiana Claspill. Samantha Kozad. Leela Criswell. Aliyah Crumpton. Jennifer Borquez. Cara Dodson. Victoria Fisher. Dagnet Garcia. Vanessa Garcia. Madison Geist. Destiny Gibbs. Madison Gomez. Alexis Hancock. Kayla Heimberg. Alexandra Harold. <laughs> Maya Jardet. Tion Jackson. Caitlin King. Michaela Logan. Jennifer Macias Perez. Mariah Mercer. Maggie Middleton.
Jamie Manis. Amarellas Mark Hughes. <laughs> Lucy Mundy. <laughs> Fabiola Minos. <laughs> Jada McKnight. Stevie Moore. Tori Moss. Tori Moss. Javier <laughs> Ozero. Sincere Owens. Jordan Pence. <laughs> Jaden Prayer. <laughs> Mylea Pope. <laughs> Chelsea Randall. Etni Rojos. <laughs> Destiny Ruff. <laughs> Diamond Sedchez. <laughs> Sage Seddon. Sway Smelsley. Emma Street. Electra Tilton. Casey Vincent Haler. Navea Wallace. Dylan Wells. Samantha Wilson. Mariah Wingo. Diane Salava. <laughs> Clarissa Zalvala. Next up is Fast Track Machine Tool. Instructor Richard Anderson. Caitlin Best. She was a skills medalist. Demarie Jackson. Trenton Phillips. Nicholas Smith. Matthew Tharp. Justin Walker. Next up is Machine Tool Technology. Instructor Larry. Drew Holdery. Joshua Campo.
Luke Miller. He was a Skills USA medalist. Next up is Office Technology. Lynn Dawson, instructor. Russell Henshaw and Diane Stump. Megan Kahn. Sarah Hardin, National Technical Honor Society. Ashley McConnell, National Technical Honor Society, Skills USA competitor. Charles Casari. Nicholas Stoli. Tara Dickerson, National Technical Honor Society. I needed that pause, I that work. Tyrone Gasper. Jenna Mingus, National Technical Honor Society. Lizette Muniz. Leslie Rodriguez. Chandelin Boss. Morgan Colmeyer. Ian Preston. Next up is the phlebotomy instructor, Kimberly Young. Hannah Alexander. Carolina Aquino. Yes. Amelia Baumgard. Clara Bynum. Brock Dick. Caitlin Dunn. Michaela Hahn. Anna Schmidtlein. Adrian Thomas. Rebecca Thompson. Brandon Treglio. Okay. Who do we got here? Next up, we have practical nursing. The instructors are Dodie Greenfield, Ashley Tyler, Stephanie Selk, Nicole Wade, Kathy Hammond, Zoo Holman. Kim Lamerson and Mark Potvin. Adriana Almarez. 
Alyssa Barath. Andrea Billings. Callie Brushiers. Edna Carrizales. Ashley Chandler. Andrika Dawn. Kiera Green. Anna Hartz. Courtney Holthouse, National Technical Honor Society. Cameron Huffman, Skills USA medalist. Rebecca Holes. Chrisana Joyner. Bonetta Lynch. <laughs> Shelby Lyons. Rayleigh McClellan. Lindsay Modine. Kira Parrott. James Sellers, National Technical Honor Society. Jennifer Tibbs. Corinne? Corinne. Corinne Tregellas. Whitney Trundle. Susan Wilson. Savannah Zeller. Next up, surgical technology instructor Christy Mick. Rachel Abel, National Technical Honor Society. <laughs> Vanessa Cordero. <laughs> Taryn Guilfoy, National Technical Honor Society. Chris Guy, National Technical Honor Society. And our outstanding student. John Hamilton, National Technical Honor Society. Allison Haven. Victoria Hayward, National Technical Honor Society. Amber Jennings, National Technical Honor Society. Hillary Johnson, National Technical Honor Society.
Taylor May National Technical Honor Society. Mary McEwen, National Technical Honor Society. <laughs> Emmanuel Melendez, National Technical Honor Society. No, he wasn't. He got to get it anyway. Jolie Myers, National Technical Honor Society. Mega Patel. Audra Roberts, National Technical Honor Society. Yes, I do. Cheyenne Runnels. Terry Thomas, National Technical Honor Society. Next up, Fast Track Welding, instructors Lester Green, Jonathan Rossich, Jordan Rossich, and Kimberly Cummings. Marsha Akerstrong. Taylor Anderson, he's also a GED completer. Sean Anderson. Austin Barberry. Isaiah Burnett, National Technical Honor Society, Skills USA medalist. Jeffrey Carraway. Jeremy Carver, also a GED completer. Damon Catadella. Peyton Cook. Eli Cooper. Clinton Corder. Wes Crossell. Brent Dayhoff. I grew up with Dyer. You're okay. Grayson Dyer. He was also a GED completer. Andrew Ebert. Andrew Feliciano, he was also a GD completer. Ian Garrett. Luke Glendening. Wyatt Green. Matthew Gripondo, he was also a GD completer. Braden Guerrero. Braden. 
Gabriel Harm. Is it Jayton? Yeah. Oh, man, I'm going to rip this baby. Jayton Hart. Alexander Horn. Christopher Howard. Justin Jordan. Samantha Cook, National Technical Honor Society. Clayton Lloyd. Tyler Lynch, he also completed his GD. Cyrus McCoy. Garrett McCoy. Christopher Mead. Dalton Morgan. Fabian Paz. Tristan Ramirez. Dalton Rickson. Jacob Stevens. Ashley Tabon. Elijah Tipton. Trying to line that at the other end. Cameron Warner. <laughs> Simon Van Fleck. Cheyenne White. Zane Wilburn. Dylan Williams. Cooper Yonkin. Next up, we have welding technology instructors Dan Stump and Nicholas Hunter. Justin Allison, National Technical Honor Society and the Skills USA medalist. Ricky Campos, Skills USA medalist. Tegan Dillon. Michael Homan. Dalton McCrory. Frank McMaster. Austin Miller.
Kobe Rigsby. William Owens. Christopher Schneider. Jake White. Jacob Wolford. Kyra Marie McMillan. She received her GED in the AOK. Today, you have been part of a graduation exercise from Washburn Tech's 40 programs. We are proud to welcome, between this graduation and the 8 o'clock graduation, 600 certificated graduates as new alumni to Washburn Institute of Technology. Please join me in recognizing these outstanding and impressive students for their accomplishments. Before concluding the ceremony, graduates, I would like to underscore that this is a moment of transition. You entered Lee Arena as the final step in completing the certificate that you just completed. You'll probably be back another time. But today, as you, as you become uh, an alumni, I'm very excited to be able to introduce Mandy Walter, president of the Washburn University Alumni Association Board of Directors with a special message. On behalf of the more than 45,000 Washburn alumni, I congratulate you on your graduation from Washburn Institute of Technology. You are joining the ranks of alumni from across the nation who have all the same things in common. We are all Ichabods. Like them, you have developed a permanent and lasting relationship with Washburn. As such, your continued involvement will help shape Washburn for the generations of Ichabods who will follow in your footsteps. Throughout the rest of your life, the Alumni Association will keep you connected to Washburn University and your classmates. Today, our graduation gift to each of you is a complimentary one-year membership in the Alumni Association. So I urge you to take advantage of that and join. Being a member of the Alumni Association is all the fun of college without the homework and tests. Don't be afraid to get involved and be a part. Your fellow Ichabod alumni will welcome you with open arms. On this day of graduation, we wish you happiness, good health, and prosperity. Congratulations again to each of you.
Okay, this is the last part. We're very excited for you to be able to do this. So before concluding the ceremony, will all graduates please rise and remain standing. Please make sure that your tassel is on the right side of your cap. Congratulations, graduates. As a symbol of your great achievement, please move your tassel from the right side of your cap to the left side of your cap. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is with great pleasure that I present to you the spring 2019 graduating class of Washburn Institute of Technology.